Hi, I'm Antonio Graceffo. What you see behind me is Tongyi Refugee Village. Now, this is an IDP village, which means these people were driven off their homes by the Burmese army. They couldn't make it to the border of Thailand and become official refugees, so they're stuck here in limbo as IDPs, internally displaced people. Now, I've been told that there's about 350 families living in the village. Each one of the families has suffered, at the very least, the loss of their home, their rice fields, their way of life. Many have lost family members. Their fathers, sons, brothers have been driven off or sequestered into the army. Many of the girls have had horrible experiences. Many people are landmine victims or victims of torture or shooting. So we're going to go down to the village now. We're going to meet some of the IDPs. Every family, every family and every person in this village has a story. Oh. Tao Jao. Tao Jao. Is it the mother? Is it mother? Bin huh? And the Bin Me. Yep. Oh, it's her mother. It's yeah. her mother. Okay. When did they come here? Bin Bi now. Bi Pun Ma now. Or Lun Si now. Last year in March. In March. Uh, yeah. And why did they come? Yuan Sang Yuan Yuan Man Tik Ding How Ya Wa Ao Po Ka Tai He Di Di Nam Kat Na. Ah, in Wei I Ah Pa Ma Ami Kill His Wife, or he, he, her husband. Yeah, husband, and also he have he have no way to live, so he have to move here. The Burma army killed her husband. Did they um did they destroy the village? Burn the village? Yon sức man tiếp tiếng hơi ó, bỏ tài phố khai ó, khám mi lục sống cọ nọ, mi lục sống cọ, hiểu cọ. Cấm này khác không mương thái. He, she has, she has two children. Mm -hmm. After he, he has spent time, he have, he have no food to eat, so he have to move in Thailand, like, like migrant worker. And then he cannot live in Thailand, he can move here. He moved to Thailand, and I'm sorry. Yeah, he moved to Thailand for to, to find food. To find work. Yeah. Find job. Oh, you Mong Thai, like, you go, you and home, me what? How on look how come Mong Thai? You go, but Thai, how come man, no right there, like, 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 she lives in Thailand because she has no Thai citizen card, so she can't live. And so the, the police, Thai police uh, send, send her to here. Send her here. Yep. Uh -huh. uh, the Burmese army uh, blame her husband. It's a uh, Chan He killed uh, her husband first. And then so she cannot live. She has no so she have to and love him. Two, two children? Mm. Mm. Now uh, her children are uh, one uh, ten and one eight years old. Uh -huh. And now they attend school in the yeah, now I think it's in school. Yeah. Yeah. So how does she live now? How does she get food and money? Uh, the gift and also the NGO, sometimes you give lunch and shorts and it. So sometimes you have not enough food. Uh, but sometimes not, 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 not enough. enough. Mm. And what about the school? Is the school free? Uh, free. Free. Paid yeah. by the army. Uh, yeah. And uh, did her mother come with her? Yes, her mother come first, and then she know her mother here, so she come. Why, why did her mother come here? Because the Burmese they the religious. The Burmese what? They killed the villagers? Yeah, um, first and just come. Uh, her husband was Thai by after me, and also uh, Tasha, her husband, and also after that he killed his, his, his husband for all the men that have to run away. The men run away? Yep. Why Why the men run away? If they don't run, they, they are allowed to be porter. Arrested, to be porter. Yep. Yep. And do they also take the rice from the people? Mm. Yes, they take food that they want. They take uh, rice and also everything that they want. Do they take uh, the boys to be in the army? They just uh, they just allowed to be their porter. Just be porter. They don't they don't want to use us. Uh, some people to be their army, so they think that it will be true. They don't trust. Yeah, they they Mm. Uh, the most humanized abuse that 
uh, started in 1996. It's a very, very, uh, 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 really the most uh, human rights related permits to torture people and then move people, uh, for to move like this, this in 1996. Why did they force the people to move? Uh, because they want to build their uh, camp. Yes, that is. They want to build a camp, yes. so they move the village. Yes. They take all the rice. Mm. At, at, at night, so he, so he have to run away. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> do, do they have a Burmese ID card or Burmese passport? No. 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 They don't have, and they don't have for Thai, yeah? No. Mm. So, so no passport? No, no passport. Why didn't they go to refugee camp in Thailand? He then he know uh, about the little young, so he have to come here. Does she feel, she feels safe here with the Shan people? Go, oh, yeah. uh, Let go. No, it's safe. It's safe. Yeah. She feels safe here. Yeah. Okay. Good. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We're at the school in the Deutsche Lang, Shan State Army Headquarters. Uh, there's a school here, elementary and high school. They have about a thousand students, and out of them, about 250 of them are orphans. They've been made orphans by the war. Uh, sitting with me today is? Samun. Samun. Samun, how old are you? Fifteen. Fifteen years old. And uh, when did she come here? In 2003. 2003? Yep. She's been here four years. And uh, does she go to school here? Yep. And where does she live? Where does she sleep? In dormitory. In dormitory. Yep. And uh, how many children are in the dormitory? Over 60. Over 60, 60 stay 60 in the dormitory. In the dormitory. Yep. And what, what grade is she in now? Sixth grade. Sixth grade. And what's her favorite subject? Shan uh, language. Shan language, her favorite. <laughs> Before she came to, uh, before she came here, did she study Shan language? Never. Why not? Because we have no school in the school, and also the Burmese don't allow to uh, to go to school. The Burmese don't allow them to go to school, or yeah. don't allow to study Shan language. Both. Both. Yeah. <laughs> Both cannot go to school and cannot study Shan language. Yep. Okay. But she could speak Shan language with her parents before. Yeah, because he's Shan, so he can speak Shan. Okay. And at that time, she cannot write Shan? <laughs> oh, no, before, no. Uh -huh. And why, why did she come here to Dr. Lang? Like? Because she uh, escaped from the SPDC. Escaped from the SPDC. What, what happened to her parents? Because his parents were tortured and also don't born on the camp car. Yes, he, he, he planned was killed or were killed by the SPDC children. Did the SPDC come in the village and kill many people? Yep. Kill many, and um, the, the whole village, the people go away? Yep. Yeah. I'm sitting beside the lab and waiting mom to bring me home. I have been waiting here for a long time. Other mom are coming to pick up their children. And they go back home with happiness, but for me it's so sad. And I feel lonely and at this time, when I see them all smiling, for me it's also powerless. The time passed so fast, and no one is coming to get me home. What happened to them when the song of the gun was so loud? Mom, where are you now? You don't come and take me home. Right now, I'm so scared and I cannot feel the warmth of my life.